Welcome to a little tomfoolery, Rob Little and Tommy Ryman. A podcast filled with laughs and gas, guffaws and haws, and maybe a picture of a dog. A little tomfoolery, a little tomfoolery, a little tomfoolery. A little tomfoolery, a little tomfoolery, a little tomfoolery. Fools. Good morning, good day, and good evening. Welcome to a little time foolery. Fool Nation! This is your host, Rob Little, and I am ecstatic to be talking to my bestie, Tommy Ryman, as my sidekick this week. Hello, Rob Little. Great to be back on the uh, podcast, the uh, Little Tom Foolery. I'm very, very excited to be here. Tommy, I need you to match my energy. Come on, Tommy! What? I brought I brought it. <laughs> a smiling. I have Megan's Megan's doing training in the other room. So I, I oh, actually have to, I can't okay. be too wild or else her the person she's training in will never know how to do their job right. All right. Yes. Well, cue the dogs to come running in they're and we can uh, start. <laughs> they're all asleep. I got everything situated. Like that's why I needed the time because I was like, I gotta feed them at this time. I can run around for 15 minutes, then it one okay. so sorry that's why i had to push it back but i think we're all settled but there uh there is a chance for dog noise and <laughs> we love it that's part of the, the game so I, how you been rob you're mm, back on land do you see what's behind me it's back baby memories board memories back. we are back <laughs> i am uh we going we start with me i okay i just got back from a f- six week run four on cruises, four weeks on cruises. And now I'm back home and dude, as soon as I get home issues, because you haven't been able, I haven't been able to check my mail. Right. I had two things stuck to my door and both have kind of got me, got me good. One was I sold something on eBay Mm -hmm. and the guy, uh, it was one of those lures. One of my big giant lures. It's one I bought off of eBay and I got a really good deal on it. And I thought I could flip this and make some money. So I flipped it. I made some money and well, I didn't see it, but it was still in the box when I bought it. So I just literally turned around, took some pictures and put it up. Well, the guy took it out of the box and one of the eyes was peeling off. Oh, so it wasn't in sticker mid condition or whatever. Right. So if it had been me, I would have just put a little Elmer, little glue on it, pushed it right. down, call it good. This guy wants his money back and he wants to send it back to me. Uh, Fine. Send it back to me. I'll I probably can make more money than what you gave me anyways. Yeah. So I reimburse him the, and I tell him, Hey, I'm going to be out of town for a while. Don't send it till I get back home. And right. I tell him the dates. What do you think he does? Sent it right away. Immediately sent it. Yeah. Immediately. So the sticker has been stuck to my door for five weeks. So what do you think happened? They held it and then they ship it back after a certain time. And guess what eBay does? eBay considers it delivered no matter what. So they have already refunded him. Now he's got the money back. And the item. So he's got both. Uh. So... And he's not replying to emails. Wow. So he totally. Yeah. Well, he lives not far from me. Oh, there we go. 45 minute drive. (laughs) So, but then this morning I get an email and it's from them and they actually were very nice, but I was kind of getting a little perturbed in the emails. So they were like, well, you know, they kind of got perturbed with me. (laughs) Yeah. And so I totally apologized and I said, I didn't reply to anything that they were getting a little nasty about, but I just said, I, they said they would send it back. Once I got home, I had to send them another shipping label, but what a, can you believe eBay, no matter whether you, cause you have to sign for it when it comes back to you. Right. That's why I couldn't, they didn't just leave it. Well, sure. eBay considers that delivered no matter what. So now the guy has the money and the item and I'm just like, and there's nothing I can do with eBay. eBay considers they won't even let you file a claim. They I'm said sure I could, could yeah, yeah, but they consider it closed because of wow. saying it's already delivered. Huh. And I go, I have the slip. 
I went to I went to the post office and the post office said no, it's been returned. Gave me the slip. I emailed that to eBay. They're like, sorry, it's our rule. I go, that's, that's, that makes no sense. It's a horrible rule. Yeah, that's weird. They need to. There's that's a loophole. They need to figure out to protect yeah. their sellers and their buyers. So that right away upsets me. So uh, I'm hoping they send it back. Anyways, so on to the even bigger one. I get another slip on my door from the county. And I'm like, what the heck is this? So I'm thinking all this time I've been waiting for an investigator to come or an inspection person to come out because I thought I'd already paid for the permit. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just waiting for the inspection. No, I paid the fines for the permit and the permit was not issued yet. So the inspection wasn't coming out. So you know what that slip was for? was for them denying my permit because, oh. because of the swale. Remember the swale I had to dig out in the back? Mm-hmm. for So like in case water got close to the canal, it would catch it in the swale. Well, there's the guy that is from public works said that it needed to be six inches minimum. Well, this same guy also already agreed that my four inches was enough if I wasn't putting sod down. And he signed off on it. So he's the one who said, no, it has to be six inches. I goes, what the heck? So I go over to the public works and I goes, dude, I came in and talked to you and you said it would be okay. And he goes, oh yeah. And then he signed off on it. No way. Wow. But that, (laughs) but that's been since July They they said denied it. And I never got correspondence. They said they sent me an email, but I never got it. Wow. so I had to pay those fines, like another 500 bucks for That's the permit crazy. and the fines. And um, now I have to schedule a time for somebody to come out and inspect it. So uh, technically I have the permits now, but they need to be inspected. Wow. So since that time though, since July, that swale has been like, you know, I dug it out, but it's already grass has grown back up in it. Mm-hmm. The weather's kind of deteriorated. So I'm like, do I redig this thing back out or I just wait and see what he says? And if he tells me I have to do it, I have to do it. Yeah, I don't, that's frustrating. It's so frustrating. And I mean, there's so many things he could say, no, this isn't right or this isn't. So this is not pergola related? I thought yes, it was all pergola it is. related. It oh, is. Okay. The swell is regarding the pergola. And then oh, the gotcha. pergola, the guy, um, there's like a different person for each uh, in, um, inspection. So there's person for the electric. There's a person for the for the uh, cement pad. There's a person for the structure, and then there's a person for the swale. I guess. Wow. So, well, if any listeners are swale experts, uh, <laughs> uh, comment in on this. I'm sure you're all deeply invested. <laughs> Shut and- up, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dude, just, trying to, so just trying to incorporate our, our podcast <laughs> listeners more. <laughs> Uh, so I'm a fool for living in Lake <laughs> County, Florida. That's what I'm trying to say. Wow. Anyways. So anyways, the rest of the week has been great. I'm super excited for this week coming up and, um, Oh, I forgot about this too. So the whole time I've been gone, literally like a couple of days before I got home, remember the jerk, the guy down the road that actually put me in all this issue yep, with my pergola. Yep. He literally like right in front of my house and I had some friends staying and they videotaped it, got into a, almost a fist fight with my neighbors. They were all like, yes, because there's like a a neighborhood court thing going on against them because yeah, long story. Anyways. So they're literally, and I got the videotape of it and they're literally like, come on, come on, let's fight. And nobody's throwing a punch because whoever throws the punch is the one that's going to get hauled off to jail. And right. they both sides know it, <laughs> but they're both doing everything they can to get the other one to punch them. Wow. It was ridiculous <laughs> and entertaining. I would like to see this video. I have it. I, I will send it to you. <laughs> and I actually did split screen because my friends tape from one side of my house and the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crazy. You live, yeah. In, a, you live in such a fun neighborhood, but you just have that one guy that's one guy that's ruining, ruining it. What a yeah. bummer. 
So yeah, I, I was that was exciting to come home to see. I'm glad I wasn't here because I know my mouth, I might have been drawn with them and I don't know. I feel like you would have said that right thing though to get him to clobber you. And then you would have been like, whoa, <laughs> guess you gotta go to jail. I guess it roasted you too good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I probably could have said the right thing. That would have been great though. And this guy is actually a, a convicted pedophile. No, creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, so they were like calling him every, I mean, literally. Oof. It was ridiculous. But well, anyways. well, I'm glad you're back. Glad you're home. Glad, glad you're getting all your stuff resolved. Uh, yeah. My week was not nearly as exciting, but I got to do, I was in Medford, Wisconsin. I did three shows at this cool movie theater out there, uh, which was, which was tons and tons of fun. Were they uh, movie style, movie theater seating? Yeah, dude, they got five screens in this small town. There's a population of 4,000, but they're kind of like in the middle of, like there's no like Eau Claire is like the closest big city in Wisconsin so he kind of can get all the smaller towns so they're able and they run new movies they're one of the rare movie theaters so it was this nice family run movie theater like the green room was awesome they had like chips and like uh cheese and like the mom made these soups and stuff because all the, the workers will come and eat they eat lunch together and then that was like the green room spread and they would it was just a lot of fun. Like That's people, cool. really, they, they do comedy twice a year and they've had guys like uh, Tim Bedore, Roger Radley, Mary Mack, Tim Harmston. So he kind of books the cleaner, fun, cool, uh, fun show. So, and then we did a, uh, they added that third show, which was kind of like a, a, like a little private thing for uh, these Black River Industries that work with like adults with disabilities. So it was just, like super, super nice people. Like, uh, and it, I had such a, the late, the nine o'clock show was like the early show was sold out. The nine o'clock show was like 40 people. But they, and I was like, oh, because they were all spread out in the theater, but they were so fun. It was, it That's was a lot awesome. of fun. Yeah. So, so I'll be expecting their email and you putting in a good word for me. Yeah, I booked and, it through like <laughs> Comedy Pro or some a random, oh, random booker right. booked me through that I've never booked b- before. But okay. yeah, I'm sure you you would. Did they request awesome you? on that list? He, yeah, I think I had submitted for it before because he'll kind of ask that guy like, "Oh, give me some three guys," and then he submits them to them. So oh, cool. Yeah, but awesome. It was fun. fun. And then we are we're getting ready for Halloween here we got our costume set up i got we got the candy for the kids and i did break into the bag but then i taped it shut to stop myself <laughs> from eating anymore so i'm sure i can't get past the tape i put on no. the halloween candy no uh and then I, I also feel like it's just safer for the kids if i sample each one just to try you know just you have so I, they know right i don't want any kid getting hurt so i and i should probably sample again right before halloween to make sure it hasn't gotten tainted since case megan or somebody put something in there yeah i um, yep. you can't just can't you got you can't be too careful so so i might sample all these bags and then just go buy another bag later you know for to, if i if i sample all these to make sure they're okay i'm not it's sure how not a bad it, idea but yeah i want to i want to make sure everyone's happy and uh, so here's a question yeah what's your favorite candy Oof. i mean i've always been a reese's peanut butter cup guy is probably my my go-to yeah. And the candy we got, we got variety pack. I think we did good as candy giver outers. Okay. Uh, because we're one one of the variety pack has it, well, it's a weird combo. It has Kit Kats, Reese's, peanut butter cups, Sour Patch Kids, and Twizzlers. Wow, uh, I've never seen one like that. Yeah. So you got your chocolate. Then we got Megan just got a bag of the M and M's, just plain normal M and M's, and the little miniature bags. Okay. Fun size bags. Right. Then we got our little candy bar. Uh, bag variety bag which has butterfingers baby ruth's crunch bars and 100 grands okay and then the final bag uh megan picked out was uh gummy bears little mini things of the har harbor i don't know how to say yeah yeah you said it right bears. that's so, it so that's that's what we'll be handing out so do you give out one of each i go uh, last year with the first year we were at this house it was pandemic stuff so we just had the bucket out on a stool with a like thing hand sanitizer next to it yeah so if a kid was a good kid he would 
you know, take one. If a kid was a smart kid, you go, you go all in, you get, you know, you load up because <laughs> there's no, no Halloween candy police. But I just pick the bucket up and pour it right into <laughs> yeah, my bed, yeah. right but, into my, uh, my um, pillow bag. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited to actually like be able to answer the door and talk to him because it was so fun. Last year we have like the ring doorbell, so you can kind of see them in their cute costume. Yeah. Like, putting hand sanitizer on, getting their one. <laughs> nice. Thing, so. But like, are I'm, you guys dressing up? Yeah, because I and I have a show that evening, but we're doing Jack Skellington and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. The, okay. Do you remember that? The pumpkin and stuff. Yeah. So, and then I was like, why don't I do Garth? I've never done Garth for uh it's because it's too obvious i know but it's so easy and then <laughs> and megan could be wayne and it would be awesome that would be but, pretty good yeah so or next she could year. be or she could be cassandra oh yeah but with the <laughs> snake right was that uh, who was, was cassandra cassandra was the asian girl that they yeah, loved but didn't yeah. she do the music video with a big giant snake on her or something i can't remember i, I haven't watched Wayne's World for a little bit yeah um but yeah i'm really excited for halloween and the halloween show should be fun i got a halloween show too but i never even thought about dressing up for it because you know why i did it once on a cruise ship i dressed up for it and i did nothing but sweat my butt off the whole show yeah and i was just like oh this is too much work just halloween and comedy shows are always kind of weird yeah because the audience doesn't really know why they're there they're like oh i could have gone to a party but now it's sunday and I think we're supposed to go out and do something. It's never, it's always a confusing crowd, yeah. at least in my experience. I but concur. Actually, this Halloween talk, I don't want to rush you, but this actually really leads into Stump Rob, if you want to, if well, you're ready let's for wait Stump a Rob. Let's okay. Because uh, did you say, what's my favorite candy? Oh, I'd love to tell you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wait let me set this up properly hey rob thanks for asking me about my favorite candy that was really thoughtful uh what came to my head was i was just wondering what your favorite candy was as well that would be a fun question for the listeners to hear about well i mean if we're people end up buying you reese's pieces i mean that's something that you love and so for me usually i didn't ever get to say the kind of candy i like and i have two two favorites i don't know what I, one i would decide over um well, growing up, when you were growing up, there was different, right? Like growing up, my favorite was whatchamacallits. Oh, okay. Remember that candy bar? Yeah, the, like the little uh, Starburst type candy. Yeah. Taffy. Then I grew into uh, uh, Snickers with almonds was my oh. favorite. But my, I guess my two all-time favorites are um, Kit Kats mm-hmm. and M&M's. Regu- the pl- well, now almond M&M's are my favorite, but I love regular M&M's too. Those, yeah those yeah are, that's a good one that's a good be, choice those are why i would not buy either of them if i had to give them out because i know i'd be eating them faster yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is that is another tactic you can do for halloween is make sure you get the candy you don't personally like <laughs> i always wanted to be the guy that hands out full-size bars and i feel yeah. like i financially could like you but it could. would be quite the investment but because i always thought that was always amazing when you would go to those houses that yeah. get a full-size candy bar uh you, you would get, get those get those bulk ones like i mean it is doable i thought you had to be a millionaire i was going to make a post that's like hey do you give out full slice candy bars for halloween what do you do for a living are y'all doctors (laughs) but (laughs) like like, yeah it was such a treat when you'd see that because they say the small ones are fun size but that that's there's no fun in that give me the main one you know yeah bite size or teen size yeah did your parents take their parent tax of candy when you like when you you and your sister would you spread it all out <laughs> would you like trade and then would they be like well Robbie we got like how was the Halloween growing up in your um, household was there so it's funny that you, is that what you guys called it parent tax well or they would my dad would just take a couple of his favorites I can't remember if he like you oh know, yeah he'd be like oh you got to give me a, I need a Snickers and I need a this the, you know I think yeah it, there was no there wasn't even like a question they would just take it <laughs> they'd just be like i want that and they take it <laughs> or like my i knew like my mom's favorite are tootsie rolls mm-hmm. and i could care less about them so i would just give them all to her and oh nice oh, Robbie. <laughs> you gave me all your tootsie that's rolls. my boy you and then my so- sister's then my sister's over in the corner just like hiding like mine like Gollum or something yeah yeah 
I always so. think it's funny when Jimmy Kimmel does that. My, we ate your Halloween candy. It's so mean to do. Oh, I never kids. seen it. Oh, really? It's t- he does it each year, where he has videos, uh, parents videotape. They'll after Halloween they'll tell their kids, "Oh yeah, I ate all your whole. You know, I was up late and I <laughs> ate all your candy." I'm and sure they always cry. Little, yeah, there's ones that cry, and then there's some that like you can tell they're like, "Well, I mean, it's okay." Like there's some really? that are really sweet. Yeah, like you can tell, like Aww. you can judge like how good of a person. <laughs> they're going to be later in life when they're just 100 like, it's okay you made a mistake i've said and then <laughs> you made a mistake it. yeah yeah or whatever like and then <laughs> most of them they'll lose their mind like what <laughs> like you're the worst <laughs> yeah i think we had that it was funny because i was probably i don't remember if i was like eating it like constantly but i know my mom had to like hide my sister's because she literally would just, she would have ate both of our bags in no time. Yeah. Well, I know ours got put away. Like we, once you get your initial, like, like that night, you get to eat a bunch. And then it was like two pieces a day or something after dinner. Like it was pretty. <laughs> two pieces a day. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and like yeah. one would be the penny that you got. Yeah. From yeah. The toothpick and penny and half open lifesaver mint. <laughs> toothpick. You had, you got toothpick. No, I or whatever. I swear, <laughs> oh. some sometimes you go to a house and there'd be a little old lady that's like, "What day is it? Oh boy, let me see what I can find." Just going right. through her junk drawer. Here's some old batteries and <laughs> toothpick with a piece of cheese on there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like that's hilarious. Oh, too funny. I love it. All right, so we got our but, new favorite game coming up. Yeah, we haven't done. I don't think we did. Oh no, we did a last minute one because I did fish facts last yeah, week. Yeah, you have this one. one. Is a fun. Uh, Let's stump, intro it. Stump Rob. Rob. <laughs> and the theme of these trivia questions is Halloween, Rob. All right. So, By the way, yet to have stumped me yet. Yeah, Came this close. could be it though. I don't know how uh, much uh, facts you are, and there's a lot of. Uh, it, it was a pagan holiday. Okay, let's start with <laughs> number one. Okay. Oh, See, is... I don't even know. Okay, where does the term jack-o'-lantern come from? Oh, man. This is going to be a week we stump Rob. Yeah, yeah. Um, jack-o'-lantern was, where does it come from? Like the Wikipedia version? Um, I would say it came from like a, an actual lantern that was used to like I don't, that's what i'm going with an actual lantern so, so a lantern okay the term jack-o'-lantern originates from the irish folk tale about a cheap man named stingy jack who made a deal with the devil uh and then it says get full story here whoops so it's uh, so it's not a lantern <laughs> okay. no it's, it's from an irish folklore but i, I wonder if he if he made a deal with the the lantern but it, yeah it's some uh was his last uh, name o'lantern <laughs> hello jack, jack o'lantern <laughs> well that was a rough one i'm not even that, gonna count I, that against you because that was should not, work no you didn't even know the answer on that you no i thought it was <laughs> i thought it said irish folktale and then all of a sudden it was like no nah, there's more to it go to this article <laughs> i was like boo let's get boo. you some fun ones yeah please go back to the kids version <laughs> Okay, here's a fun one. Okay. Uh, can you guess what the original mask uh, Michael Myers wore in Halloween? You're going to be upset with this because I literally just watched what the movies that made us, and it was oh, the okay, Halloween see. one. So you know the answer? Yeah, it was uh, Captain Kirk, and they cut William out his Shatner. eyes. Okay, good. And, yep. Excellent. I mean, you didn't know that about me, that I just saw that, so I'm taking that one. That's number one for one right there. Of course. I've never, <laughs> and they I'm, actually, I'm only proud when you get these right. Oh, okay. Um, that one, they actually painted it like a white bluish tint too to give it a, like a very pale, weird look in the light. Oh, okay. And, and they cut the eyes holes bigger. Yeah. Yeah, no, they definitely changed it or yeah. else it would have been way... <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it was just complete William Shatner mask, it would have been... Okay, here you go. The, okay. Question number two. I'm, I'm going to do multiple choice for this, unless you know the number off okay. the top of your head. But how much did Americans spend on Halloween in the year 2019? 
So the year before COVID. Yeah. So that'd be like candy decorations. All. That. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm assuming definitely need multiple choice. Okay. So the, we have uh, 25 million, 3.4 million, 2.6 billion, 1.5 billion. Whoa. There's some billions in there. What was the one after 25 million? 3.2 million? No, it's not that. It's going to be more than that. Uh, billion. It feels like billions too much. I'm going to go with the 25 million. It was $2.6 billion. Jesus Christ. For Americans. I didn't think we'd hit that high. Wow. That's insane. I wonder what it is for Christmas. Oh. Got billion. Be, yeah, yeah easily sure. billions. Okay, so that's one for two there. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, All right. Yeah, that was gonna be my choice. Either the highest million or the lowest billion. I knew that, but I chose wrong. Okay, what was candy corn originally called? Um we co- was it originally called Indian corn? No. Do uh, I have a multiple choice on this? Or, and uh, someone's snoring on your end, by the way. <laughs> well, you need to be more exciting, Rob. These dogs are not entertained by this podcast. <laughs> Finally want to get them calmed down. They snore. I got to get them con- conscious, but, but not running around. This Wasn't sure if there was a mower going outside or <laughs> what, what was. <laughs> Uh, oh that's uh, adorable should i give you the answer um can i have there, multiple choice on this one i, I didn't there is Too no hard. multiple choice i'd have to just make up weird terms yeah, i thought I you always like made up multiple choice <laughs> okay I do, but, uh, so, uh, it, this one's interesting though it was called chicken feed i thought you might know this because uh, you kind of you grew up in that rural area so i thought maybe they would <laughs> they, they'd be like yeah we still call this chicken feed <laughs> oh i didn't know that one that's a good one though that I, I don't feel bad in missing that one so one for third two, one for two. Uh, well, you've got yeah, you got one and then two wrong. But right. these are hard. Oh, so I one for three. Yeah. Okay, boy, I'm about to. I got to get the next two, or will you actually stump me this week? Okay, here's an interesting one because this is kind of Halloweenish. But who was the first first lady to decorate the White House for Halloween? Oh man. Do I get uh, some multiple choice? <laughs> it, yeah, so I'll name the presidents, and then you can tell if uh, which. Uh, I have an idea, but I'm going to let you give me multiple choice. Okay. Uh, was it John F. Kennedy's wife? Uh, was it Jimmy Carter's wife? Uh, was it Abraham Lincoln's or Eisenhower's wife? Are your options? Ooh. feel abraham's too f- long ago and i feel like it's got to be eisenhower because the other two are too recent it is eisenhower yes <sighs> i got one more option <laughs> one more and i can either win or lose here my little deduction was good on that yeah but it's tough because i'm the one making up these things so then i gotta remember presidents i gotta <laughs> try to figure out who i i was like i don't remember all the wasn't her name names. they called her lady d or lady uh this one says mammy eisenhower oh, but i'm okay. not sure i think roosevelt's wife had like the the um lady something yeah Okay, here's one interesting one. Why did some women throw apple peels behind them on Halloween? Really? That's what you're going to give me as my last one? Do you want me to give you multiple choice? <laughs> yes. Okay, was it, uh, was it, um, let me see. They, let, me, let me look at your eyes while you do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they threw apple peels because they were hoping they would go inside and then grow apple trees, like under, into the land. Did they throw apple peels behind them to protect them from any ghost or scary attackers that might be behind them? Mm-hmm. Uh, the other, would they they would throw them behind them 
in hopes that it would land in like the shape of the uh, letter of a future boyfriend. And you looked away on that one. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> And would they, mm-hmm. would they do, would they throw the apple peels behind them uh, for all the animals and pets to eat later? <laughs> now the next trick is go ahead and reread them to me and let's see which one do you remember? <laughs> all right. Uh, what's your answer, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> now, I feel like you looked away trying to make me not pick that one because you're like, Oh, let me pretend this isn't the real one and look away. <laughs> so I think it's going to be that one, to be honest. But <laughs> I'll, I'm going to pick that one just because I feel like you were trying to fool me on it. No. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> I didn't say you which sure? one. Oh, I didn't. Wait. Oh, well, you don't even know which one you looked away on. Huh? Oh man, now Minnie's talking the dog's in her sleep. Upset. <laughs> Everyone's stressed. It's so nervous. So, it's, so wait, which is so, the answer? I've already forgot which ones it were. <laughs> Me too. So I know there was um evil. Was the first one evil spirits? The first one you said you you really messed up the wording. You said that they would go in and they would want to play in a tree or something. So I feel like that can't be right because you said go in. And I was like, what's that got to do? Go in where? Well, I was trying to paraphrase any of the what I was if I was reading one. Well, if I tried it's to that put it one, in my own words. That doesn't count because you <laughs> so, messed that one up. Um, and it can't be the about the the trying to hope they were gonna get their boyfriend's name. So it's either the second one or the fourth one. And the fourth one was to feed the animals. I feel that's too obvious. So I think it's the second one that you about said. About to, so their uh, attackers would slip on the apples? Is that what the second one was? Peels? Or like so the ghouls and stuff don't chase them down? Something like that, wasn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. The answer was they would throw them behind them in hopes that they would form the first letter of that's a future what I husband. Said first! And you said no. Huh? I said that first and you said, no, no, I was saying, no, like you got, you got it. Cause you were, oh. pick, but you were trying, cause you're like, well, you looked away. And then when I That's was like, I no. and then you go, no, 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 I haven't chosen yet. I haven't chosen. You gave it away. <laughs> I knew it was that. You were trying to sneak. I'm taking it. <laughs> that was you know, my first choice. And you said, no. So I'm like, All another, right, really, another, I got a do over where Rob just forces his way into <laughs> not being stumped, cheats again. He always wants multiple choices that don't exist. I knew you were trying to give it away by looking away. I was like, ah, he's making this too obvious. And Because you kept looking back trying to read it, and then you're like, oh, I, what could it be for him? It was such a long it? answer, though. I was like, oh, he's for sure getting this. <laughs> So they really hope the apple peels. Your stump form. rob. Though, I feel like I should bring somebody else in to do stump rob because you just base all your answers on me. My how I re- like. You're like, well, Tommy would do this. <laughs> like you know me too well. So you're like, I've deducted it. Well, Damn. that's what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you got to uh, play the player, not the game. So we did it. We stumped Rob again. I would uh, say you stumped, stumped me. Stumped there was definitely a couple. Time. <laughs> that one you definitely would i would say you stopped me but i should have just stayed you wouldn't have if i stayed with the one i and then you your little afterthought is what threw me okay what let's happened? give you one bonus question okay do you know what famous person died on halloween what? jason from Friday the 13th. <laughs> it was it. well let me give you a, I'll give i you mean there. it's a bazillion people it could be yeah, I'll give you their occupation. They were a magician. A famous magician died on Halloween. Was it Houdini? Mm-hmm. You're right. There you, you know go. How I know that one because I just worked with a magician on the cruise ship, and he tells a story about him dying on Halloween. Oh, really? Did he say that? Wow. Yeah. I think River Phoenix also passed away on on uh, uh, Halloween. I think you oh. were he was at a Halloween party with his brother or something. Wouldn't it be weird if he died on Halloween in a river in Phoenix? <laughs> it would be, I mean, a little bit. It'd be <laughs> still super sad. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. I'm well, still that- say you stumped me. You stumped me this week. The first question was impossible. And then there was like another. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that was, was a hard one. Those are fun Halloween trivia. Yeah. Questions. I concur. All right. Uh, well, let's move right into my other se- favorite segment. Uh, Dog of the week. Dog of the week. Would be fun, right. We'll get, uh, this is Sydney. She is a three-year-old and this is your friend or, or our new Patreon member, Robert. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's his dog. Oh, so look at that. Cute I love face. it. I, it didn't say what type of dog she was in the email. Do you know what breed? Is it a, like a beagle type or a. It looks like a beagle hot dog almost. Yeah. So we'll have to get the breed, but it's really cute. Her name's Sydney. She's. Uh, here she is three i think sydney is a girl i'm not sure and then there's another that is adorable <laughs> why am i always so bad at every this? time on this tommy oh, <laughs> that one looks like he's laughing yeah or she's laughing or whatever smiling and he's yeah. also got a cataract in one eye <laughs> <laughs> robot eye a very cute dog and there's one more photo if you're listening to this go over to the youtube page we insert the video in the uh in the page and you can uh, you can actually see these dog of the week uh pictures and the final one is a really cute one of the dog inside of a bag <laughs> or a blanket all wrapped up you can Aww. barely see its nose so super cute thank you for sending those in robert your dog is the dog of the week Yay. sydney cute cute that was adorable oh tommy we are changing my one of my favorite topics uh i used to call it a little here's a little history with rob little but we should be doing foolish history so i found some things in history that people did that were quite foolish this week in history in 1920 king alexander the first of greece dies from a monkey bite oh no way his dog was fighting with a monkey (laughs) so he ran up to intervene and the monkey bit him and he thought it was just a little scratch but back in 1920 a little scratch turns into it got infected yeah he got monkey pox or something i don't know what he got but he got something and he, he got infected and he died three weeks later whoa that what a was, way to go man what a fool to pu- pull apart a monkey and a dog but he yeah was, apparently the dog was losing uh, yeah so, yeah i mean just trying to protect your dog but right yeah you, that's why i always carry bananas with me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice um this week in 1984 the terminator premiered with arnold schwarzenegger right yeah he was the cyborg um and uh but did you know that that role was initially offered to oj simpson i don't think i heard that but that would be very different like i feel like i might have heard it i can't remember but that's he was, crazy he was suggested as the uh, the terminator role to james cameron the director but james cameron said he did not feel simpson would be a believable killer oh wow whoops <laughs> <laughs> that's that's foolish right there so yeah i thought that was crazy um and now this week in 1993 i don't know if you remember this or not i vaguely do there was a pepsi hoax going around that there was a syringe in the pepsi can Ooh. And, and this guy uh it was a guy from pennsylvania and then he had later admitted he was a fool because he said that he put the syringe in there and he told the ER doctor that it had touched his tongue and he oh, was man. suing Pepsi. And they're like, Obviously, that, what's that? They figured that out that they did not put a syringe. They were like, this guy did it. Yeah, they they actually just discontinued their syringe. Yeah, uh, they're like, program. that program's over. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Um, this is a popular one. Um, and I, I would be hard pressed for you not to remember this. We weren't alive during this, but this is something we've all heard of. I think in night this week in 1938, Orson Welles panics the whole nation 
everybody becomes a fool because he's doing his radio broadcast about the war of the world. And oh, said, yeah. Martian aliens were invade, invading the uh, planet and people were losing their minds. Unless you heard from the very beginning when he actually says this is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, but if you turn on two seconds after that, you're like, what is happening? <laughs> right. Oh, no. And he kept it up for between breaks and everything. So people were just losing their minds. So he fooled everybody on that one. That was a great one. Wow. Uh, this one is a religious fool. Uh, and I'm not saying it to be mean or anything, but the Pope and this week in 1992, Pope John Paul II announces the Catholic Church um, wants to apologize for Galileo Galileo from Galileo Galileo. Uh, he believed that the earth was uh, revolved around the sun and the Catholic Church imprisoned him for it. And he had to come back and say he, well, he was just fooling around. It wasn't true. And then oh, the, church, the church uh, reversed their decision as a result of a 13-year investigation into the matter. Whoa. 13 years they investigated. I don't know. That's, <laughs> I mean, all the other planets are going around it, but we're kind of the center. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, That's funny. Catholic fools just being silly. Um, this one was... This was a foolish thing. My, this week, this week in 1987, the, you remember the cartoon Mighty Mouse? Oh, yeah. They said he sniffed cocaine on, a, on one of the cartoons. What? Yeah. Uh -oh. The producers claimed that he was actually sniffing flowers that had been crushed by a bully. Yeah, I, that seems more Mighty Mouse's. Yeah. What he would do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they. Sh I went and looked it up, and it's obvious that he's that doing that. Flowers. Yeah. But obviously, there's some fools out there that no, oh, it was. It's the '80s. He had to be doing coke. <laughs> right. <laughs> How did he get drugs. so mighty? You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh so that's the uh, that's this week in foolish history. We got a few fools at birthdays. Uh, John Cleese. His birthdays nice. he's one awesome fool kevin pollack oh yep andrew schultz do you know andrew uh, i recognize the name he's a new but... york comic he's he's hitting all oh yeah i know who it is and then rob schneider rounds rob out our, schneider our professional fools excellent birthdays well, i'm Very gonna go cool. right into fool news i'm sure being a bank robber is hard but I, you always hear about like good heists and stuff like that and you watch the movie catch me if you can you're like wow yeah. It's so romanticized, but this guy, I don't, I don't, I don't think he was ready. This guy named Kelly was 27 year old. He passed a note to a bank teller uh, to rob the bank, but unfortunately, he used the back of his own check. <laughs> <laughs> so they just uh, looked at it, and, and then they, uh, and, and they went and found him. <laughs> well, if he was smart, he would have used somebody else's check right yeah well he did try to black out the the name oh he did yeah and they but they were able to like probably hold it up to the light and then see the uh he the, all the information he couldn't find one piece of paper yeah he was just you know maybe he was gonna make a you know make it some kind of deposit or i guess you wouldn't deposit with your but yeah so he wrote all he literally had all his information on his <laughs> robbery slip I thought you were going to say he made the mistake and he went in there and then all of a sudden he goes, okay, pick a number. And then he goes, Joo, 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 Joo. you know how the four corners. Oh, that yeah. you, you do and you fortune open teller. Up, open I'm robbing you. Give me all your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. That's a fool right there. That's king yeah. of the fools, man. So crime didn't pay there. Fool news. I love it. That was a good one, buddy. Thanks. What do you have coming up? <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> this week I am at the new side splitters in at the Grove in Wesley Chapel, Florida. This is also a movie theater. Oh, cool! And, uh, cool. So I I don't know if it's got movie theater seating or what, it used to be a movie theater or it still is or what, but I've just heard from other local guys that it's very fun, and I have a bunch of big groups. I'd even. I, 
you know, you go to some cities and you're like, I know, I know some people there, but I didn't know that I know this many. Oh, that's and awesome. So the owner already wrote me, he goes, holy crap, you got a bunch of big groups coming. And I was like, holy crap, I do. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yes. So a lot bonus. of cruise, a lot of cruise people. Yeah. I could get bonuses for this. So that's good. Um, and then next week I, well, we can talk about next week, but I'm basically this week I'm in Florida and then next week I'm gone another two and a half weeks in Michigan. So. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, buddy. Where are you going to be this week? Uh, well, this weekend I have a fun Halloween show on Sunday at Sisyphus, a whole bunch of local comics. We're going to dress up and do kind of Halloween themed stuff. And then the following Wednesday, I'm at Acme's 30th anniversary. They're doing a whole bunch of different comics all week. I'm on the Wednesday night, and there's nine of us. Andy Erickson from Last Comic Standing, Bent Washburn, Nate Abshire, Trevor Anderson, Shannon Fall. It's a stacked lineup. A uh, lot of great people. And then the and then I fly to California and doing uh, some stuff there in North Carolina and all that. Awesome. But, and then I go to Michigan. Are we in Michigan at the same time? I'm at a Ann Arbor showcase, November 12th and 13th. I literally just talked to Roger last night. Nice. What's mm-hmm. the dates you're going to be in Michigan? Uh, November 12th and 13th. Yeah, me the, too. Where Ann at? Ann Arbor County Showcase. Oh, the 12th and 13th. I'm doing two theaters on the on the west coast of Michigan. Oh, west uh, coast. Oh, no. Wait By like Traverse City? Over, no. Oh, November 12th, I'm doing Lexington, which I think you did with me before. The Lexington Theater. Yeah, maybe I did that. I think you did. And then the 13th, I'm doing the Midland Center of the Arts, which is real close to my hometown. So that's awesome. We both are. Oh, we're going to be so close to each other. Are you only there those two dates? Yeah, we get we get in Friday afternoon. Then I have one show Friday and then two on Saturday. And then we fly out. Sunday. Oh, What's who's we is Megan coming with you? Megan's coming with me because we're flying from California, go to San Diego, then we're in, in LA, and then then I have to fly to like North Carolina and then back to LA, and then we fly to North Carolina. Oh, I'm so or bummed I won't see Michigan. you, man. That's all right. We'll figure out another time to all get yeah. together. Did you send out my lures yet? No, I didn't want them to go get to you like when I was going to send them out today so they get to you Monday or Tuesday. I that just want you perfect home when they arrive. Because I have to leave. Yeah, so they have to get to me by... I leave on the 4th. So a week from today, I leave. Yeah, so they week should from tomorrow. hopefully get you... They usually do three to five days. Yeah, I forgot which ones you I, you have of mine. So I had to go back and look at the pictures because I just was about to order another one. Oh, and, and was, you're like, one it, of them. It that was one you. you got, yeah. Yeah, they're all packed up. They're each bubble wrapped and then in a big box. Sweet. And then with wrap, so they should be safe. Uh, but I literally am going to go to the post office when we're when we close this down. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sounds and good, brother. Uh, and our t-shirts are coming. Hopefully, he'll, he'll give me a price. Yeah, for that, that sounds I'll, great. So. This is it, Rob. This has been another <laughs> episode of Little Town Foolery. I just want to thank you so much for listening. Uh, wherever you get your podcasts, we're on all all platforms on Spotify. Amazon, wherever you get a podcast, we're there. Also, you can watch us on YouTube, which is exciting. And if you do watch us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Make sure to share, make some comments. And we would love it if you'd become a Patreon member. That would be absolutely wonderful. You can join as little as a dollar a month and all the way up to 50 bucks a month. And you get amazing prizes, different levels of fools. Uh, We have so many cool things. You can get posters, CDs, albums, and a new t-shirt coming. That'd be absolutely wonderful. And if you have any more questions, you can always visit a littletownfoolery.com for all your podcast needs. So this has been another episode of Little Town Foolery. I'm Tommy Ryman. That's Rob Little. Bye, fools. (laughs) Was that good? That was way better, yeah. Yeah. That was really good.